hello friends welcome to my youtube channel excellent economics in this video we will discuss about ravensa university ma economics entrance questions paper of 2015 in our previous video we have co already covered up to question number 68 so in this video we will start from question number 69 onwards thank you now question number 69 an optimal tax is one and given options are which minimizes the tax burden which minimizes the distributional consequences of imposing the tax which maximizes the revenue yield which maximizes social welfare and here the correct answer is which maximizes social welfare which is given in option d then next a tax was previously there in india but subsequently abolished in 1985 of which one is it and here the correct answer is Easter duty which was in India before 1985 now next which one is not a method of debt redemption conversion balance budget surplus balance of payment terminable annuities and here the correct answer is balance budget then the next one the most recent concept of development is and here it is given the concept of increasing per capita income diversity of economic development across countries the concept of human development the concept of people's happiness and here the correct answer is option c concept of human development then the next one a country produces gnp of 1000 units with capital investment of 2000 what would be the warranted rate of growth if the society consumes 800 units of gnp here uh, country GNP GNP is 1000 in and capital investment is 2000 and uh, consumption is 800 units and this question is about warranted rate of growth and uh, and this is from Harrod Domar model so here warranted rate of growth equal to small s divided by V where small s stands for marginal propensity to save and here marginal propensity to save is out of 1000 units of gnp consumption is 800 so marginal propensity to consume is 0 0.8 and marginal propensity to save is 0 0.2 so and capital output ratio is capital is 2000 divided by output is 1000 so capital output ratio is 2 and uh, marginal propensity to save or average propensity to save is 0 0.2 so small s divided by v that is marginal propensity to save divided by capital output ratio is 0 0.2 divided by 2 into 100 is the answer it will be 10 percent which is given in option b remember here marginal propensity to save is 0 0.2 and capital output ratio is 2000 divided by 1000 that is 2 so 0 0.2 divided by 2 into 100 the next one it is deduced that inequality first increases with development then decreases with further development this is known as the inverted u hypothesis and this hypothesis has been given by this is nothing but the kuznet hypothesis so it is given by simon kuznets then next one the classical theory of economic growth holds that that <clears throat> the driving force behind economic growth is the reinvestment of profit accumulation and re uh, redistribution are interconnected stationary state is the ultimate end of the process of economic growth and and the last one all three are valid and here the correct answer is option d all the above are correct then next millennium development goals intend eradication of extreme hunger and poverty achievement of universal primary education ensuring environmental sustainability all the above and here the correct answer is option d all the above or all the above three is the next which one is the feature of tech of tales low social mobility beginning of industrial revolution self-sustained economic growth and last one growth of new technical industry and here the correct answer is self-sustained economic growth which is given in option c next who developed the theory of vicious circle of poverty 
and here the correct answer is it is developed by Ragnar Norfe which is given in option B then next which is the main idea behind unbalanced growth and here overall growth can be achieved by developing the primary sector second overall growth can be achieved by industrializing some of the leading sector and this one is the correct answer by industrializing some of the leading sector so option b is the correct answer next which of the recent topics of development economics is one of the recent topics of development economics is and recent topic new institutional economics growth theory poverty analysis trade and development and here the correct answer is new institutional economics then next which one is related to rio earth summit 1992 which one of the which one is related to rio earth summit 1992 and here given options are millennium development goals climate change our common future protection of flora and fauna and here the correct answer is our common future then next which one is an example of environmental goods thermal electricity renewable energy plastics open storage system and here renewable energy is the example of environmental goods now next which one is a correct combination first global environmental summit 1972 it's related to ozone layer it is given this is uh, incorrect uh, Vienna convention 1985 human induced greenhouse gases this is also wrong intergovernmental panel on climate change which is given related to limit to growth this is also wrong Kyoto protocol related to global uh, global warming this one is correct so option D is the correct answer then next which one is the correct definition of carbon tax a tax imposed on the emission of greenhouse gases and this is the correct answer option a a tax imposed on the emission of greenhouse gases then the next one what is called environmental husbandry what is called environmental husbandry and given options are the management of common resource by government the management of common resource by outsiders the management of common resource by local populations the management of common resource by industry and here it is the correct answer is management of common resource by the local population then the next one what are the component of pqli physical quality of life index pqli and as we know the, the combination of pqli are life expectancy infant mortality and basic literacy and it is given in infant mortality life expectancy infant mortality basic literacy it is given in option d then next if for a given series the sum of square deviation of item from mean is computed uh, from mean is computed then the sum would be here we are taking the sum of square deviation of item from arithmetic mean as it is as we know the it is nothing but the property of arithmetic mean the second property of arithmetic mean sum of square deviation item from arithmetic mean is the minimum it is given in option b the next one the standard deviation of the first 10 natural number from 1 to 10 is standard deviation of first 10 natural number and here the this is also uh, from the uh, pro <coughs> property of standard deviation and the formula is 1 by 12 n square minus 1 root over of 1 by 12 n square minus 1 where n stand for first n natural number so here the correct answer by applying the formula we can get the uh, answer 2.87 which is given in first option then in a bivariate distribution correlation deals with and given options are cause and effect relationship between the two variable independence between the two variable association between the two variable none of the above and the correct answer is association between the 
two variable then next four statements have been made in respect of regression analysis for a bivariate distribution as follows which one is incorrect and first one there will be only one regression line and this is incorrect because in case of bivariate series we always have two regression line one is regression line of x and y and second one is regression line of y and x then next for a given yearly time series data the trend is computed to be y equal to a plus bt due to urgency the statistician is asked to compute the trend by converting the origin series into a half yearly time series what would uh, happen to the trend newly computed for half yearly time series options are both a and b will change a will remain constant but b will change a will change but b will remain constant both a and b will remain constant here the correct answer is here a will change but b will remain constant and here it is given in option c then next a matrix a is said to be orthogonal if orthogonal matrix matrix said to be orthogonal ortho orthogonal matrix is one when a matrix is multiplied by its transpose and it produces an identity matrix then the matrix is called orthogonal so here a is orthogonal if and only if a multiplied with a and transpose equal to i which is given in option d then next when is a function called homothetic homothetic means monotonic transformation of a homogeneous function and it is given in option a homogen monotonic transformation of a homogeneous function is called homothetic function then next which one from the following uh, which one from the following four is the definition of an improper integral and uh, the first option an integral having no limits of integration second a definite integral having zero as the lower limit and positive integer as the upper limit of integration a definite integral with zero being both the lower and upper limits of integration and last one a definite integral with a real number as a lower limit and infinite as the upper limit of integration and here the correct answer is option d here it is given the upper limit as infinity so this one is the improper integral a definition of an improper integral the next given the production function in two inputs x and y here the production function is given this is the uh, ces production function constant elasticity of substitution production function where a greater than 0 and alpha lies between 0 to 1 when will it be a cobb douglas production function so, uh, a ces production function becomes a cobb douglas production function when our value of rho equals to zero and it is given in option c if the value of rho becomes equal to zero c s can become the cd production function the next a farm's production function is given by 10 k to the power 0.5 l to the power 0.5 and its cost equation is c equal to 2k plus 8 l the cost minimizing quantities of two inputs l and k if the farm wishes to produce an output of 500 units then the minimum cost of producing 500 units of output at equilibrium will be here, here we have to find out the value of k value of l and value of uh, tc total cost minimum cost for producing 500 units and this is here since the value of k equal to 0 0.5 l equal to 0 0.5 by adding 0 0.5 and 0 0.5 your value of uh, alpha plus beta equal to 1 so this function uh, it shows a constant return to scale and here if we solve the given the two equation then we will get the answer the value of k equal to 100 value of l equal to 25 and uh, the minimum cost to producing 500 units become 400 rupees so here it is given in option a so 125 and 400 respectively is the correct answer and then next one question number 97 for the function fx x plus x to the power minus 1 which one from the following is correct yeah, maximum and minimum values are equal 
maximum value is greater than minimum value minimum value is greater than maximum value and neither maximum nor minimum is it and here it is option 3 is the correct answer minimum value is greater than the maximum value then next question number 98 the value of integration of log x is um, integration of log x is x log x minus x plus c it is given in option b then next the marginal revenue function of a farm mr equal to 20x minus 2x square and its marginal cost function is mc equal to 81 minus 16x plus x square the farm maximum profit for producing x will be here uh, mr and mc is given so from mr we can find out tr by using integration and from mc we can find out tc by using integration then we can find out the value of profit which is nothing but uh, total revenue minus total cost after calculating the value of profit now we have to take the first order derivative of profit and um, we have to set it equal to zero then we can find out the value of x and the second order derivative must be negative for getting the maximum profit and if we solve these two equation then we will get option d is the correct answer zero is the correct answer then the final one the demand function for a commodity is p equal to 20 minus 3q and the supply function is p equal to 2q what will be the consumer surplus under pure competition here uh, by using the integration we can find out the willingness to pay and ability to pay and willingness to pay for willingness to pay we have to use um, integration definite integral and for uh, ability to pay or the actual payment here the willingness to pay is integration of the demand uh, equation and uh, ability to uh, and, uh, uh, for actual payment we can use price into quantity as the actual payment and by deducting uh, actual payment from willingness to pay we will get the correct answer of consumer surplus and if we apply the formula then we will get 24 as consumer surplus and here it is given in option a so uh, consumer surplus is nothing but the difference between the consumer's willingness to pay and what is actually paying so first we have to find out the willingness to pay then we have to deduct the actual payment uh, by calculating price into quantity so and here the answer will be 24 and given in option a so thank you we have completed 2015 questions refer thank you all